This is HP EliteBook MT44. It comes with 128GB SSD. I don't know why. It looks such a decent laptop, but it comes with very low in memory. So today we're going to upgrade the SSD. Also, we'll see the RAM location. Where is the RAM located? If you wish to upgrade the RAM stick. So as you can see here, this is crucial P2 NVM M2 solid straight die. I'm going to upgrade into 500. First, flip the laptop. There are a few silver screws, plus two additional black screws. As you can see, the screws doesn't come out all the way. There is a lock, safety lock, so you're not going to lose any screws. You need a kind of Phillips screwdriver, either automatic or manual. And also you should have some sort of plastic tool. I would ask you please avoid to use any sort of metal tool because this machine is very easy to get scratches and stuff like that. It looks pretty decent but uh, if you try to sponge it with metal stick you, you're gonna break end up with breaking things you know. So the screw would make a click noise once it makes click noise you have to understand the screw is already open and this is ready to remove.
So right now we're going to check if this is supported because previous one was MSATA, now this one M.2 NBME SSD and both of them supported. Here is my bootable Windows 10 uh, thumb drive and we're going to press the power button, keep pressing F10 to get into BIOS just to check if this SSD is supported or not and then later on I would install Windows 10 on it. You can check how to change the BIOS settings to enable the USB boot. So click on the system information just to check the model number and everything. It shows it's fine. And now we're going to get into boot menu just to check if in the list or not. So click the boot options, go down and try to find M.2 something like that. Drag it. And now I can see the bottom of the list M.2 CT500. Okay. That is my new NVMe SSD that I install right here. So this is absolutely fine. Now, just to double confirm, let's try to see if it's open up into the Windows setup option. Okay, this is pretty cool. Touch enable screen, so you can touch and select the actual boot priority device. Also, I can see right here it shows 465 gig out of 400, 500. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Everything is fine. And now I'm just going to install the Windows uh, 10 on it. If you would like to see the full length video how to enable the USB boot and change the correct settings into your BIOS, you can check the video link would be in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you do like part of this video, consider subscribing to this channel. I hope I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again. Bye for now.